What's going on guys, it's Pilot and this is a little quick video to show you this, the Hive is back in Borderlands 3 and uh, it's got two noticeable differences to it here, it is now no longer a unique blue drop, it is now a legendary drop and it's no longer a Malawan launcher, it's a Torg launcher. Uh, other than that, the gun fires more or less the same, but it shows extra damage. I've noticed it's a lot more powerful in its damage. So to get this, you're going to go to go to the Splinterlands on Pandora, and uh, specifically the Chop Shop uh, fast travel station. And then you make a straight line right from the spawn to this little ramp, and just beyond the ramp, in this sort of area here, is where she will spawn. Her name is Princess Tarantula 2, and she is a huge spider ant. Uh, she is a really rare spawn, so you might be at this for quite a while, so I definitely advise when you do your runs, you take the vehicle to speed things up a little bit. Um, you can walk if you wish. You might even get lucky and get her on the first try, but it, uh, it took me a good few tries to get her after the initial time I saw her first time. But here she is, and uh, we're going to use the Hive on her, um, just to show you the damage it does. Here we go. I've noticed that it is uh, a lot more satisfying. It makes a lot more satisfying noises. The uh, the feel of it is nice. It's a very slow to reload. I can't remember if the, the, or, the original hive was slow to reload, but as you can see, all the little bee projectiles are all doing their work, and they are making quick work of Princess Tarantula too. And uh, there we go. We got another hive drop, as you can see there in front of me. Nice. So that's how you get it, guys. Yeah, like I said, she's a very rare, rare spawn, though, so you might be at this a while. I hope you get lucky. My first encounter was actually in story mode. I caught her by surprise, and she dropped me that, and then I came back to farm her endlessly to make this video. Um, other things that she dropped for me during my farming, she dropped me this shield, which I've never seen before. It is a Nova Burner. Uh, I don't know if this is a world drop or if this is also in her loot pool. I'll need a confirmation on that, but she dropped me that as well as a skin for Zane she dropped as well uh, called Hyperion Beast. Again, could be a world drop, could be something that only she drops. It's too early in the game to tell at this point, but we'll look for confirmation later. And as a bonus, if you look at this little arch that you drive through here, you'll see this guy. He is a bloated rack. I'm assuming these are the replacements of Tubbies. Uh, he spawned a couple of times out of the numerous ones that I did, so it's definitely worth to keep an eye up high when you drive under that uh, under that arch to get her. They'll drop a lot of lot of loot and stuff. But uh, that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.